head of the Animal Research Institute of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, Dr. Franklin Avonyo, has recommended that young guinea birds should be confined for at least two months before they reach adulthood. According to him, this will help address the high mortality rate in guinea fowl production in the northern region. The guinea fowl industry in the north has over the years been faced with some challenges that has affected its growth. This include lack of balanced feed, weather condition, lack of medication and other inputs. Mostly the production season for guinea fowls is between April to December, during which the northern region experiences cold weather due to the rains. Unfortunately, when the eggs are hatched, the young bears are not able to survive the cold. It is for this reason that the experts are recommending guinea fowl producers to adopt the practice of confinement to reduce the high mortality rate in the sector. The head of Animal Research Institute at the Council for Scientific Industrial Research at Nyakwala, Dr. Franklin Avonyo, explained the benefits of the confinement. The number of guinea kids that farmers hatch and then the number that they eventually keep as adults, you realize that about 90% of the kids, of the eggs that hatch into guinea kids, they die before they reach adulthood. So, in order to reverse this undesirable situation, where you can get 90% of the eggs that you hatch, that's 90% of the guinea kids reaching adulthood, you only need to confine the guinea kids in the first one and a half to two months. In the first one and a half to two months. If the weather is very bad, we extend it to two months. So within, within the two months, you make sure that the temperature is around 30 to 35. He said there is a need for balanced feed to enhance the growth of the bears. Dr. Avonio further stated that research institution is on the lookout for cheaper and adaptive metals for guinea fowl farmers so as to enhance their capacity. The other strategy is that, interestingly, we have a few farmers in northern Ghana who claim that they are able to obtain very high survival rates of guinea kids using local methods. So as scientists, we need to investigate those local methods. If those local methods are effective and they are cheap, effective and cheap, they are more likely to be adopted by farmers in northern Ghana. So we are on the lookout for those innovations by local farmers. He also advised that eggs used for incubation should not be kept beyond one week since they are likely to go bad. From Tamale, Noanash, for Vasa One News.